What's the worst way a breakup can go? You're both crying, but you know it needs to end. You found out one of you was cheating. Stuff is thrown, cars are keyed, siblings are threatened. Yeah, I've, I've heard it. How do you come back from that? How can you even dare trust another human being? Well, I am glad you're here because today's special video is made just for you. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Kit, your personal dating coach. And in today's video, I'm gonna go through a step-by-step -step process of how to enjoy dating and be open to connecting with someone new after a bad breakup. Don't forget, if you are new here, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm here to make you player proof and help you find the relationship you desire. Now let's get into the video. Maybe you're heartbroken. Maybe you heartbroke them. There was a lot of drama. It was all just too much. How do you open yourself up again? So step one, take time for yourself. You have to take time for yourself. It's very easy after, you know, you've been betrayed or not even if you've been specifically betrayed, but to trust your emotions with somebody new, it's very easy to be thinking, well, I don't wanna get hurt, so I'm not gonna trust anyone anymore. And of course, that's understandable because if you don't put yourself at risk, then you can't get hurt, right? And it's okay to have some time for yourself to do that. It's okay to take time to heal yourself and to find yourself again, to regain that confidence you had before you engage with someone new. And this time after a breakup is especially important crucial even. They say something like, you should give yourself at least half the length of the relationship to get over someone. So if you were in a relationship for two years, you should give it at least a year before you get into a relationship with someone else. Now, I think that is a good guideline, but everybody's different and every relationship is different, especially since because in a lot of relationships, people actually start getting over the person before it actually ends, while they're still in the relationship. Someone might be in a relationship for three years, but they were actually ready to move on five months before it actually ended. And some people do move on before it actually ends. Naughty, naughty. Please, if you know you're over someone in a relationship, just end it. Because that means that you're staying in it for the wrong reasons and you will actually begin to resent that person. Plus, you don't want bad karma for doing something you know that you shouldn't. So take this time for yourself. Be proactive. Be proactive in other areas of your life. And I don't necessarily mean be proactive in your career or your work or your financials, unless that's what makes you happy. But take up a new hobby. Go to that fitness class or cooking class or yoga class that you'd always wanted to do, but you never got around to doing. Go away for a weekend by yourself. This is a period of self growth for you of shedding the skin of your old self and allowing the potential to come through. But for that to happen, you need to challenge yourself in new ways. And you might as well make those ways something you enjoy doing. There is a big world out there, so go explore it. Step two, recognize when you're ready for someone new. It's really important to know in yourself whether you're ready or not to open up to someone else. Whether you're ready to take that risk because no risk, no reward. If you know that you're not ready to open up to someone, then really you shouldn't be dating, period. It sounds drastic, but it's what's needed at this stage. You shouldn't be on Bumble or on Tinder or on Hinge just swiping right just to see what matches that you get or you know, just seeing what's out there. Because if you're going on dates when you're not actually open, then you're just wasting your time and you're just wasting their time. Now, if you're saying that you just want a bit of fun with no strings attached, then hey, by all means, do your thing, swipe away. I mean, we all gotta eat, right? But if you actually wanna find someone who you connect with, then you have to be open to that connection, otherwise it will never happen, never. No risk, no reward. Next step, when you start dating someone new, Take more time to build trust. Nine times out of 10, a breakup is really bad or really messy is because we expected more from that person. We had trust that they would treat us a certain way. We hope that they would treat us with the same kind of dignity and morality that we think we would have treated them because the trust has been betrayed or you know, you just know it's not gonna work out anymore. But dating someone after a bad breakup is knowing how to build that trust. And part of knowing how is through time. So when you are ready to meet someone and you are ready to build that trust, really take 
your time. There is no rush. I think we're so keen to rush into things nowadays. Like everything is now, it has to be now. We're like, oh, I'm seeing this person and then we need to have sex and then we need to be in a relationship and then I need to meet their mom and then, you know, we have to be engaged. Why are we rushing? We should treat relationships like we're having sex. The best kind isn't the one that you just rush into without warning. You build to it. Take your time kissing them slowly. Stroke every part of their skin. Kiss every part of their neck. Build the tension. Feel their heart get faster. Foreplay. The sex is way more satisfying and the whole experience is way more intense. Side note, if you want to know how to make a guy crazy for you in bed, make sure you check out this video afterwards. You won't want to miss it. But the sex is more incredible the more time you take to build up to it. And the exact same thing goes for relationships. Take time to build up trust with someone and develop these things organically. Have more patience because the longer you take to build that foundation with someone, the more likely it is to be stronger and long lasting. We all know that phrase, easy come, easy go. And you know what? Challenge yourself. However long it took to get into your last relationship where you were both emotionally invested, you were physically invested, you were exclusive to each other, however long it took to get to that point, take longer to get there this time. Because depending on what went wrong in our last relationship, if we do things the exact same, we're doomed to repeat that same mistake. So do something different this time. And I promise you, you'll be in better stead for it. If you're looking for the guy to spark up your love life, make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. And as always, keep it slick. How?